For steeper slopes, as well as low velocity drains, swales and channels, engineers still often rely on natural vegetation to protect against erosion. However, they cannot rely on low strength and biodegradable materials. Greater forces simply require stronger products and the vegetation needs support for a longer period. We now progress to higher velocity applications. When flows are higher, the consequences of erosion can be critical. Uncontrolled water flow can fundamentally undermine the structural integrity of infrastructure. For example, around bridge piers and abutments, over dam embankments and spillways, along side roads. All of these structures are designed to withstand a certain capacity of flow. If that capacity is exceeded, allowing erosion to occur, then the consequences can be catastrophic. In these situations, engineering solutions must be designed in response to explicit criteria, including hydrology, how much water is expected and at what velocity? Topography. How steep are the gradients and what space constraints are there? Geomorphology. How stable is the natural soil? The process for designing these solutions is more involved than for low flow applications. The solutions are structural rather than environmental. This is a very large embankment on a mining site. A storm event could significantly alter this landscape and possibly even cause the embankment to fail. Large drainage channels to accommodate high flows will direct flows from the top around the sides to the bottom of the structure. This is a common technique used to reduce water ingress to the structure. A geotextile is commonly used to provide durability and stability within the drainage channel. High flows around bridge structures need to be managed. Failure to do so will see erosion of the bridge abutments leading to closure of the bridge. In this instance, a hard engineering structure using gabions control the water flow under the structure. Erosion control solutions are designed to channel water away from, around or over the infrastructure to be protected. Often geosynthetic products are used together to form a system. For example, a geotextile is often used in combination with gabions, gabion mattress or cellular confinement mats. The geotextile provides a separation and filtration function. It protects the underlying soil by separating it from the high flow. While the gabion, gabion mattress or cellular confinement mat, provides stability to the system. Gabions, gabion mattresses and cellular confinement mats are all variations of a flexible, permeable yet structurally sound building component. A geocell is a honeycombed structure which helps restrain aggregate from moving under water flow. Geocells can be used to prevent erosion along the edges of road formations. A geocell typically has a geotextile beneath. In this instance, the geocell will be infilled with rock to prevent scour around the drainage pipes. The higher the velocity, the more engineered the solution must be. In this instance, a gabion structure captures and controls floodwaters to direct it away from valuable infrastructure on a mine site. By stepping the slope of the channel, the engineer can dissipate hydraulic energy. Traditionally, concrete systems have been used wherever infrastructure needs to be protected. 
The emergence of geosynthetics has allowed for softer, more environmentally acceptable solutions to be offered. Well designed, they can be equally as durable as more traditional methods. These systems are built to protect permanent structures such as bridges and dams. Therefore, the erosion control system itself must be designed and built to last for the life of the structure. As well as having less environmental impact, geosynthetic solutions are often more economical and quicker to implement. In this section we have focused on structural solutions to control water flow around infrastructure. When dealing with erosion control, engineers should also consider rockfall, which is surface instability caused by the action of the elements and gravity. Solutions to this phenomenon include drape mesh systems and high energy catch fences. Erosion of slopes can lead to rocks spalling off the face. Rockfall netting can simply be draped over the surface of the slope. It does not prevent rocks from falling, but safely controls the trajectory. In some instances, erosion of the surface may cause large rocks to fall. Catch fences can be used to intercept rocks in high-risk locations. Engineers are also concerned with erosion at the coast. In coastal environments, engineers are concerned with protecting settlements and buildings from the effects of the sea. Extreme tides and storm events can result in significant loss of coastal land. Historically, Rock sea walls have been built to withstand these erosive forces and hold the land in place. Equally, the same approach has been used to reclaim lost land, where fill is deposited behind the introduced seawall or bund. These barriers separate the protected landmass from aggressive wave action. Other systems are also used to reduce the force of waves. For example, groins or breakwaters may be constructed to interfere with lateral drift and dissipate wave energy. Likewise, artificial reefs can be built out to sea to dissipate wave energy before it reaches the shore. In recent years, geosynthetic alternatives have emerged in the building of coastal protection barriers. Two common alternatives are riprap and sand-filled containers. Riprap is a system utilising a strong geotextile as a separator upon which large, heavy stones are placed. The geotextile prevents the loss of fine material from beneath the stones. Sand-filled geotextile containers can be used as an alternative to rock. They are flexible, easy to fill and deploy and can utilize materials that are locally and readily available. Rock sea walls are very common. Some geotextiles are designed specifically for coastal environments to support these structures. The geotextile needs to be strong enough to withstand the impacts of rocks being dropped and compacted during installation. Geosynthetic coastal systems are an alternative to coastal structures made of rock. Groins and foreshore revetments can be built using geotextile containers filled with sand.